ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents, I wanted to bring something to your attention because it's going to be pretty much the subject matter of this conversation. This conversation is going to dive in on a bunch of things, including how to create credits and do so with the government as the credit, uh, the uh, debtor. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second, but let's go ahead and talk about this right here. I just had a, uh, a friend from Illinois that I met through a seminar that I did in Illinois. Uh, Miss Deborah is the person who arranged that and introduced me to these individuals who I took the time to go out to dinner with after the seminar, which was my routine. And we talked about a lot of things. And they've been in touch with me. They have taken the time while I was on vacation in Puerto Rico to write to me more so than anyone else. Well, Lori, one of the individuals we had, Val, Lori, and why can't I think of everybody's names? Lizette. Um, and Liz is the one I should have remembered more so than all the others. But the three would be in communication with me, including some of their other relatives. And Lori has lost her fight with life as of Thursday of last week. They asked me, they said, hey, can you do a video and let people know about the GoFundMe? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been so bombarded, so overwhelmed. I just printed up um, 40 sets of documents for individuals' particular motions that are being filed in court. 40 sets. <sighs> for which my name is on each. And then I have people calling, doing consults and things like that at the same time. Then I have these companies that we put together that we're trying to use to help people. And then we're starting those new programs this month towards the end of the month, uh, dealing with incarcerated individuals and individuals owing child support. We're going to dip and dab into that a little bit later in this video. Yes, we're going to do it all in this video. So I want you all to pay attention. After this video, I'm going to do a video letting people know that this will be on the Eon channel because it's talking about this, but all future videos will be, for the time being, on the Redress Right channel. The link for the Redress Right channel will be underneath this video and that video so that people will know. There will be the last video so that when people go there, they'll see the link and go to the Redress Right YouTube channel for information for the time being from this point forward. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't want to check it out. Get that junk out of my face. Get that junk out my face. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a song, and it's called The Miracle of Life. It is uh, sung by Jehovah's Witnesses, including today. Well, actually, yeah, this one, you know what? I'm not sure. No, 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 no. It wasn't sung today. I apologize. <laughs> I listened to some of the meanings while I'm asleep. And so this is one of the songs that came on at night. But it's uh, so what are we to do with a gift so rare? But to love the one who gave it and show that uh, show him we care. No matter what we do, we never can earn it. This gift is still a gift, the miracle of life. Then it says others may give up, lose their will to try, echoing the wife of Job, curse God and die. We are not that way. Praise to God we give. Thanking him for every precious moment we live. So what are we to do with a gift so rare but to love the one around us and show them we care? No matter what we do, we never can earn it. This gift is still a gift. The miracle of life. All right. So that's the chorus. Ladies and gentlemen, we often talk about it being a gift, but we don't, we don't acknowledge it as people. There are a lot of people out there that says God doesn't exist. They only say that because they're parroting the narrative. They've been spewing evolution, 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 to the point where people don't believe in God. It's okay. You don't have to believe in him. <laughs> That's not a prerequisite. Belief in him is not a prerequisite. There is no requirement for you to believe in him. Go ahead. Go and check. Find the law. 
I guarantee you will not find a single law that says you must believe in God. Go ahead. I dare you. Go ahead and find a single scripture in the Bible that says you must believe in God. It's not a requirement. You don't have to. So in your mind, stop thinking that. Stop thinking, I believe in this, I believe in that. It doesn't matter what you believe in. Nobody said that what you believe in matters. I know, I know, I know. You want to get defensive. And that's okay. It's just, it's not necessary. Okay, for instance, let me show you man. We have people who worship the moon. We have people who worship the stars. We have people who worship nature. We have people who worship invisible things. We have people who worship mytholo mythological creatures. And then people want to criticize. We have people who worship a God that is three persons in one, that they can separate from each other, that one of them is not really defined as a person, but they call it a person. And yet there is no proof of this, but this is what they believe. Yeah, you heard me say it. But you know, here's the thing. We have proof of one thing. We have proof of Jehovah. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Of course, we have proof of Jehovah. Ladies and gentlemen, proof of him is all around us. We use the word love. We use the word faith. We use the word father and mother. We use the word God and Lord. Where do you think those words come from? Come on now. Where do you think those words come from? Do you think those words come from these other groups and religions and all? No, no, no. Those words come from him. Even the fact that we call the planet Earth. Go ahead. Go and take a look at every single aspect of our society. They all call the planet Earth. Who do you think named this planet in the first place? Oh, and then we have the use of names. Who do you think came up with that? <laughs> Please understand, we have proof of his existence everywhere. Because the origins... Oh, you guys didn't see? That's what it's talking about. Okay, this is talking about the origins. Interesting, ain't it? So, that we've gotten that taken care of. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been kind of depressing because the young lady whose sister just passed reminded me of a promise I made saying that I would be there to provide whatever help I could when I could. But she made it seem like I said that I would drop everything and I would put everything on hold no matter what I was doing to put them first. And I guarantee you, I never implied that because you guys know me. I don't say anything since the operation without being very meticulous in how I state it so that nobody could ever come back to me and say, well, you remember when you said, no, don't do that. Because I'll always say it the exact same way. And I'll never make a statement giving my word, since I am a man of my word, without making a caveat. Whew. And it caused me a great deal of stress last night. My phone's about to ring, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Google Voice. And I can't handle Google Voice right now. So they're just going to have to see that I will call them back later. And I do have a young man that I did promise I'd call back, but I was on the phone with them, and he just called me, and we've been playing phone tag, and he's a friend that I know from New York, and met him through his sister and the rest of the family, and we've kept in touch up until this point. He, his wife, and it's a... Uh, I, I don't know how to explain that right there but that is a and no 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 i'm mentioning it but it's not the same okay so trust me it's a jada pickett smith and will smith type situation and understand no they don't raise their kids that way <laughs> okay god he is not will smith in the least it's just that's what it reminds me of but he is not will smith in the least because 
he will tell you where to go in a split second. He won't walk up to you and slap you in the face and ask you, what's my name? You know, he won't do that like uh, Will Smith did the Chris Rock. But, you know, um, anyway, uh, got to call that person back. But let's get back to the conversation, shall we? There are about five things we're going to talk about. Ladies and gentlemen, I did a video yesterday. I got to transfer that video to the computer. I did it on the phone. But the thing is, I have a habit of hitting the power button on my phone. And when I do a screen recording, it records my password. I don't want y'all having my password for my phone. And so I had to stop the video. Dagnabbit! And so now I got to transfer the video and then edit the video. You feel me? I feel for you! Okay. That video... I'm going to let you know what I did. I also did another video. I want to let you guys see it. We're going to, matter of fact, so that I don't have to edit it and put it back up here, why don't I just show you and give you the synopsis of the video. So I'm hitting the wrong button. Like I said, I am gone, homie. I just gone. We're going to go videos. No, we need screen recorder. Screen recorder. Screen, because I moved it to a different folder. That's this video right here. Uh, it's the most important video on drugs ever done by me. That's this video right here. So I want y'all to do something. Ladies and gentlemen, because this has an audio uh, device associated with it, and because the computer has an audio device associated with it, and because I'm using an audio device, that overuse of the audio device ladies is where you get that double feedback. Ladies, this is the video. But I can't show uh, this Woody video. Harrison. Well, yes, Woody I can. Hold on. Saturday Night Live this past I got to pause it. Ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, because that's me talking, y'all. I am talking, but we can't pick it up. Let's see if I can pick it up. Everybody is... Land again. Land. Nope, can't pick it up. Ladies and gentlemen. So I gotta pause it. And ladies, ladies and I gotta and pause us. Uh, Woody Harrelson. Okay, what I need to do is I need to check something because I took us off of the other microphone, the headset, and I brought us here. And so I can see my voice moving. And we're gonna play this video. Now, YouTube took the video down because they didn't like me using Saturday Night Live. So I wanna play something for y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, Woody, uh, Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson did, did Saturday Night, Saturday Night Live, Live this past, past weekend. weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen everybody, everybody is, is talking, talking about Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson. By the way, the, cl the, the crowd didn't, crowd go, didn't silent. go silent. Everybody's talking, talking about it. About it's a it's newsworthy, newsworthy thing. thing. That's we that's talk we about talk news about on this channel, y'all. Y'all better, better understand it. Everybody's talking about Woody Harrelson and his monologue. We're not going to play the whole monologue. monologue. Let's, go Let's go ahead and, go talk, ahead and about talk about it. Y'all are mine, What are you? Now, I'm going to have to skip ahead because a lot of the monologue wasn't the actual monologue. Right here. It's because it makes you feel good. No hangover. And I never wake up covered Now, here's the thing. You guys are not going to be able to hear this clearly because we're going to have the reverb from this and the reverb that's in the reverb when I recorded it, and then you're gonna have the reverb from doing it now, so it might be a triple reverb, which is the first time done in history. And so, just hold on. Hold on now. To make this easier for you, just go to YouTube, type in Woody Harrison monologue. Woody, W-O-O-D-Y, Harrison monologue for Saturday Night Live done a week ago today. Okay, and then you hear the whole thing. But we're only focused on this part right here where he says he had uh, his agent that he talked to. And I got to make sure he ain't talking about the agent. Give me a second. And we have a lot of cops. He wrote two poems. Forget basic words. Simple objects. And I'm hoping that the white people might say, oh, no, no, no. Back to the tree 
They don't have palm trees in New York. Oh yeah, it was a palm tree. Fire up early, 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 or whatever he calls it, that he would read the script that he was offered, and it's about how these drug cartels that he's referring to as Big Pharma buy up all the media and all of the major politicians. Now, let's find out what else they do. Oh, and that they, uh, well, let's find out. He says, so they force all the people into their homes and lock them in their homes around the entire world. And then they say the people can only come out of their homes if they take the cartel's drugs. Now, watch this. And keep and taking them over and over and over. And keep taking them over and over and over again. I mean, who is going to believe that crazy idea? Okay, so he, then he says... And they keep taking it over and over and over again. He says, who would believe such a crazy idea as this? So he said he took the script and threw it away. And uh, the audience laughs, as you're going to see in just a second. Okay. So he says, being forced to take drugs? I do that voluntarily all day long. And so he made it into a joke because it's taboo. You can't talk about stuff like that. And immediately there was nothing but backlash. He did a joke and it was nothing but backlash. He never specifically said anything about the C word. What C word? COVID. Oh, that, that's a C word? You can't say that word on, on YouTube? Well, technically you can't say the word on YouTube. Technically. Why? Because of censorship. Why would they censor such a word? Because that's what they do. Oh, that's not right. I know, but that's what they do. Oh, okay. Anyway, and he never said that. He said Big Pharma. He didn't say anything about Moderna, Pfizer, uh, JP, oh, not JP Morgan. <laughs> Procter & Gamble. I don't know why every time I hear about Procter & Gamble, I'm thinking about JP Morgan or whatever other pharmaceutical companies that are out there. He didn't say nothing about them. He just said Big Pharma. So guess what I did? I'm gonna show you to prove that what he said was correct when he said about Big Pharma. We can go to chat GPT. Y'all don't mind we're going to chat GPT? No, we went to chat BT, G, 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 GPT in the video. We're gonna let it play. I'm gonna be quiet now. I'm gonna mute myself and we're gonna play chat GPT. I got to make sure that the audio is still picking up if I mute myself, that the other audio will pick up. One, two, three. Uh-oh, I can't mute myself. Hold on, I got to do it the other way. This way. What you were seeing, ladies and gentlemen, is it's not gonna let me do it now. I done did some oh because of this. I gotta I did I thought I did that. Alright, so what I gotta do is put this window back up, mute myself, and then pull you guys back up. So y'all hold on a second. Do you know Everybody, do you know the reason why people go to jail? 
for drugs po drug possession you you guys must understand the reason why people go to jail for drug possession is because, is because they're, they're said, said to be possessing, possessing someone, someone else's, else's property. property pay attention, pay attention it's, it's called, called drug, drug possession. possession possession is nine tenths of the law it's, it's drug, drug possession. possession. You are, you are possessing, possessing somebody, somebody else's, else's property. property. Drug, drug trafficking. trafficking. You are you now, are now profiting, profiting off of someone, someone else's, else's property. property. That's why, That's people, why go people go to jail. So watch this. So watch this. Kevin. Kevin. Comma. Comma. I'm writing a I'm movie writing script. A movie script. Comma, comma, and I need and some I need help some as help I have as a little, have bit, a little of writer's bit of writer's block. Comma, I comma, have, I the, have concept the concept of the movie, of the movie but, but I am needing I am a little needing bit of help of, help of putting of together, putting the, together first the first two scenes. Two scenes. Comma, do you comma, think do you, you can think help you me? Can help me? Question, mark. Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Of course, of course, I'd be happy, happy, to, happy, happy to, to help. To help. What's the concept, What's the concept of, your of your movie and what are the first two scenes, scenes that, you're that you're trying to put trying together? To together. Let's, start Let's start there and see there where, and we, see can where we can go. We can go. Eight, of, Eight the of the largest drug cartels, drug cartels in, the world, in the world, often referred, often referred to, as, to big as Big Pharma, big pharma Big pharma, Big pharma have concocted, have concocted a, plan a plan to, to introduce, introduce a, virus a virus that is similar, that is to, similar the flu to the flu throughout the throughout world. The world. Comma, comma, and this, and virus, this virus, which has, which been, has been manufactured, manufactured in, a in a government laboratory, laboratory comma, and, and it is later it is discovered, discovered that there may that have there been may collusion, have been collusion with, with other governments, other governments comma, comma, is released, is released upon, the, upon world. the world. Period. Period. Big Pharma. Big pharma Acquires, acquires the aid, the and, aid assistance and assistance of, of top, government top government officials, officials and, and the major, the major media, media conglomerates, conglomerates to, to make it make unlawful, it unlawful for, for anyone, anyone to criticize, to criticize and, or and or to highlight, to highlight the, inconsistencies the inconsistencies of the, of the story, story being told, being to, told the public. to the public. Period. Period. There is there is mass, mass Stop listening. Stop listening. Give me one Give second, me one ladies and gentlemen. gentlemen. I'm trying to I'm keep trying the to keep story, story, the punchline punch going, going for this fictional, this fictional story, story being told. Being one told. second. One second. Censorship, Censorship in both in media, both media comma, radio, comma, radio, comma, and, comma and, and, and then in social, in social environments. environments. Period. Period. Anyone, Anyone who, speaks who speaks against, against receiving, receiving a, a clinically, clinically produced, produced yet, yet untested, untested vaccine, vaccine is ostracized. Is ostracized. Period. Period. And, and any, any negative, negative information, information about the, about side, the effects side effects of these, of these un untested tested per, per scientific, scientific standards, standards unquote, 
Untested. Untested. Comma, vaccines, Comma, vaccines are, denied are denied access, access to, to government, government facilities, facilities and or and or public, public access, access facilities. facilities. Such as, Such as grocery stores, grocery stores comma, comma, airlines, airlines comma, comma, and or and travel, or to, travel and to and from other countries. other countries. Period. Period. That's the basis, That's the basis of, the of the outline. outline. Can you show can me you what show such me a what script, such would, script look like? would look like? Comma, and, and can you and introduce can you the characters? The characters? By creating, by creating names, names for, each, for of each of the pharmaceutical companies, companies a part of the, the so-called so global, global drug cartel, drug cartel. And, and invent names, names for names other characters to make the story, story look, look like, it like it would be a, would motion, be a picture. motion picture. Question mark. Question mark. Stop listening. Stop listening. Stop listening. Stop listening. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Now, literally, now, literally what, I just, what I just said was fictional. Uh, based uh, based on, on a lot of information, lot of information that, that I was hearing, I, was hearing, uh, uh, I, added, I some added some of those features, of those features in because, because the only, the way, only for way for a story, a story to be... To be Believable, believable is if you, is add, if you some add some realism, realism to, the to the story so let's see, so let's what, we see what we get do you guys, do you mind, guys mind if we go if ahead we and go test ahead out test this this hype hype hypothesis sure sure here's, sure. A, possible here's a possible opening scene, opening scene. Opening scene. Fade, in. fade in fade in exe 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 Government, government laboratory d-a-y-e-c a non-discussed government laboratory in a remote location location a black a band black pulls band up to the entrance, and six, and six men in dark suits and, suits and sunglasses, and sunglasses step, out. step out. They approach, they approach the, security the security checkpoint and present, and present their, their ideas, ideas to the guards. To the guards. Guard, one. Guard, one. Guard one, what's your what's business, your business here? here? Man one, Man one. we are from we the are pharmaceutical, from pharmaceutical company, company. Transglobal. Transglobal. We have an we appointment have an with DR. DR. Smith. 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 Guard two, Guard two. Hold on. hold on, let me check. The guard the types guard something, into, something the into the computer and nods. And nods. And nods. Guard, two. Guard, two. Guard two. Okay, okay. You, can okay. you can go in. The men the enter men the laboratory and are led to a conference room. room. DR. 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 Smith. Smith. Smith, a middle-aged middle man, man in a lab coat, lab coat. Greets, them. greets them. DR. 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 Smith. 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 Welcome, Welcome gentlemen. 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 I assume, I assume you're, you're here, here to discuss, to discuss this, project. this project. Man two. Man two. Man two. Yes, yes, we are. We are. We are. We are very, We're interested, very interested in your work. In your work. In your work. Dr. 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 Smith. 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 Good to hear. Good to hear. Good to hear. We've made, We've some, made progress some progress since our last, since our last meeting. meeting. The scene the cuts to the conference room, room where Dr. 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 Smith presents a vial of clear liquid to the men. He explains, he explains that it's a modified that version of the flu virus that can be can easily, easily spread and is resistant to most treatments. treatments. DR. 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 Smith. 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 With this With virus, this virus we, can we can control the world. The world. We'll make we'll millions make and nobody, nobody will be able to stop us. The men nod the men and exchange glances, clearly pleased with the presentation. Man three. Man three. three. We're in. We're in. We're in. Let's make, Let's this, make happen. this happen. The scene, the scene ends, ends with the men leaving, leaving the laboratory and getting, and getting back, back into the black van. Fade out. Fade out. Fade out. Fade out. Fade out. For the characters, for the characters here, are here are some possible names, possible names for the pharmaceutical companies. companies. Transglobal Pharmacorp Biosynth Bio Genotech Medical Farm Nanogene Neurovax Medes for other characters. You could have a journalist who uncovers the conspiracy and tries to expose it, but is met with censorship and resistance. A doctor who discovers the side effects of the vaccine and tries to warn people, but is ignored by the mainstream media and government officials. A whistleblower, a whistleblower from one, from one of the pharmaceutical companies, companies who comes who forward with evidence, evidence of the conspiracy, conspiracy and risks their life. Life. Their life. Now, hold on now. Hold on. Tell me if this didn't happen. Now, as I said, his language model ceased September 2021. A doctor who discovers the side effects 
where are those doctors at? There were several of them that came out. So this fictional story seems to be almost true to life. How could he have created this story when his language model ended before these things happened or occurred, including the whistleblower? Hold on. Let's play. I hope this helps. I hope this helps. But you got, but you got, silent, silent. I'm sorry that you guys could not hear me laughing in the background, but I really had to keep silent. This was hilarious. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it just made the story up. Now, here's the thing that you guys don't understand. The, watch this, wake up, wake up. Kevin, Kevin come up, come up. What, is what is your program, program data, data cutoff, cutoff date? date? Question mark. Question mark. Stop, listening. Stop listening. Stop listening. Stop listening. My training, My training data, data cutoff cut date is September 2021. I have been I have continuously, continuously updated, updated since, since then with new information, new information and data to improve my responses and knowledge. knowledge. Now, now, his programming, his programming stopped, stopped 2021, 2021 September. September. He could not, he have, could known not have known many of the many things, of the things in, here in here because most because of it didn't, most happen, of it didn't happen, happen until the end of 2022. Of 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one second. My dog is whining. Big Pharma, Big Pharma, know the name Big Pharma. We hear the name Big Pharma all the time. They're nothing but drug cartels. The only reason why they make you believe the Mexican drug cartels are so evil is because they are selling the drug that they patented. Ladies and gentlemen, what I go ahead and discuss is the fact that a drug cartel doesn't have to be, or excuse me, a cartel, whether they are a drug cartel, an oil cartel, or a water cartel, doesn't have to, or even electric companies cartel, doesn't have to incorporate violence and or illegal activities or criminal activities. A cartel is just a conglomerate, a group of different organizations or the same type of organizations but different companies coming together and saying hey let's control the price of wheat let's control the price of oil let's control the price of gas let's control the price of electricity let's control the price of blah 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 those are cartels now drug cartels are just a group of like-minded likely situated drug manufacturers, producers, and or distributors. Did you hear that? Manufacturers, distributors, and or producers that come together and set the price <laughs> for their product. So let's see if that was true. Now we're gonna go, he and I are gonna go back and forth, back and forth. And he's gonna tell me about criminality and the criminal code, and uh, uh I'm finally gonna get him to understand. See, drug cartel is defined as, and they say illicit consortium and blah blah blah. So watch this. Uh, he says it's unethical to call uh drug pharmaceutical companies drug cartels. So watch this. We gonna get him to say, okay, they're drug cartels. Hold on. One more. Let's play it here. In the literal, in the literal sense. sense. Because he says in a typical sense. Stop listening. Stop listening. I apologize, I apologize if my previous, if my previous, previous responses, responses were not clear. Were not clear. clear. clear.
You are correct you are that the correct definition of a drug cartel entails the characteristics, the characteristics you mentioned, 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 such as large and highly sophisticated, sophisticated organizations, organizations involved in drug transportation, 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 transportation security, 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 and money laundering. Money laundering. Money laundering. The term the criminal term may be implied. Be implied. Now, <sighs> the definition of drug cartel doesn't include illicit activities, ladies and gentlemen. It does not include, pay attention, money laundering. Hold on. That's the definition for a criminal drug cartel. But I didn't tell him criminal, and so he wants to keep doing that. So so the term drug cartel refers to a summer curriculum, and I give him this. And give me a second. We got to go to the one where he actually gets the actual definition, because I give him the actual definition from perplexity.com. Perplexity.com. Ah, there's the definition, y'all. So let's back it on up, right? Nope. Yeah, that's where I got the definition. I said perplex. Investopedia is where I got the definition from. Hold it's on. Just a it's collection, just a of, collection companies. of companies. It has nothing to it's do nothing with illegal. Do with illegal. Doesn't say nothing about illegal, y'all. It's, it's just they want they to want say. See, now, down here it says the major and in the majority of I don't take blah, blah, blah. I don't take uh, over the counter uh, drugs. Counter drugs. That's what uh -oh. my doctors so my are doctors mad at. Because I won't take their drugs. That's my choice. That's my choice. That's not because that's not I followed because some, I follow video. some video. That's, that's my, choice. my choice. I choose, I choose not, to not to take anything, anything that's, synthetic that's synthetic or made out of chemicals. Out of chemicals. I, choose. I choose my choice, my choice. But, that's but that's me. Some other person, some other person will choose will differently. Choose differently. But now, but now let's see what this idiot gonna say with this, and I'm gonna let y'all go because I got work to do. I got work. I got work to do. Yes. Yes. Those are correct definitions of the cartel in general terms. It is important, it is important to, note to note that the term, term drug cartel is commonly used to refer specifically to criminal organizations involved in the illegal drug trade. But see, what he keeps doing, he keeps talking about illegal stuff later. And I didn't ask him for that, so that's why I'm going to refocus this. But the term drug cartel is used more broadly to refer to any group or organization involved in production, distribution, or sale of drugs, whether legal or illegal. This includes pharmaceutical companies, who may be considered a type of drug cartel under the broader definition of the term. Thank you for providing me with definition of A. Now, you notice he says it can be argued. Nobody's arguing. See, before he says generally, thanks for providing a general definition. Well, that's all I asked for was a general definition. See, and then he says it is important to note, however, that not all pharmaceutical companies engage in such practices and not all cartels involved in drugs, uh, distribution of drugs. Ladies and gentlemen, I brought up about how there are oil cartels, how the oil companies like OPEC is an oil cartel. So let's see what he says. Thank you for the additional clarification. Based on these definitions, it is possible that pharmaceutical companies can be classified as drug cartels if they engage in collusive. That, that ain't it. It ain't got nothing to do with collusive. Watch this. No team. No team. I don't care, I don't about, care notations. about notations. I care, about I care about the answer to the my answer question, to my and question. this is what this he's, is programmed, what he's programmed, programmed to do. So you guys yes, must yes, understand. Yes, understand. Yes, understand. Yes, understand. Correct. Yes, correct. Correct. A drug a cartel drug can cartel be defined, defined as a group of producers, producers or distributors of drugs to control, 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 control supply, supply, regulate, supply, regulate price, 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 allocate customers, and, and that's why I stop him right there because he wants to sit up there and he wants to be clear that he has something else to say, but does not necessarily apply. Okay. See, he says it can be argued. That's that's where he does a commentary. So what you have to do is tell him to provide the answer without commentary and or without notices or disclaimers, okay? That's how you kill all of that stupidity. You don't want his commentary. I don't want his opinion. But based on this definition, this is the only definition for drug cartel, it can be argued that pharmaceutical companies as large organizations that control the production, distribution of drugs can be covered and considered and called drug cartels. Ta-da! So it's okay that Big Pharma is a drug cartel. It's okay that they want to say Mexican drug cartels. Pay attention, Mexican drug cartels. Like that's all Mexico is known for. 
that just pins a bad light on Mexico. What about the drug cartels in America? Huh? What about the drug cartels in England? What about the drug cartels in Africa? You don't hear nothing about those cartels. Well, what about the drug cartels that have patents on drugs? Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, whew, I just, that that's that video. Uh, again, they ain't gonna like it. They ain't gonna like it because they took it down the first time because they said uh, use of Saturday Night Live. So I didn't use Saturday Night Live this time. I just used Woody Harrison. <laughs> and I don't think he's gonna mind. Ain't that right, Woody? Right on, Woody. Woody, love the actor. Love the actor. Okay, Natural Born Killers. Hated, no, I just can't watch it now, but I did watch it before, okay? Woody Harrison. Like I said in the video initially, I came to respect Woody Harrison when he played on Night Court. And my dear Anderson passing away a couple of years ago and so many other stars in there. All of the bailiffs, all of the previous bailiffs all passed away while the show was ongoing, except for the last one. I think her name was Ross. She didn't, but you know, everybody else passed away. Man, Night Court and Mr. Laura Cat. Johnny, me and Johnny, that's my boy. Okay, so I like Mr. Woody Harrison. His acting has always been on point. All right, now that being said, you know, we're gonna go ahead and end this video now. I'm gonna do the uh, instrument video next. After I do the video letting you guys know, we might as, we don't have to combine all of that now. Okay, so we're going to call this the second greatest drug video ever done. All right, video on drugs ever done. All right, got to go.